Hi everybody, I'm your host Mark Purcell. Today we have a very special guest joining us on the show. I've got Johnny Rocker of Helsing Furniture. His designs are as creative and edgy as his personality. So sit back, relax, and join us as we talk shop. So John, welcome to Talk Shop. Thanks for having me, man. This is super fun. Absolutely. So tell the folks a little bit about yourself, where you're from. Uh, I'm a woodworker, 26. I'm from Valparaiso, Indiana, which is real close to Chicago. We kind of consider ourselves from Chicago. Uh, I do like fine finish woodworking, trim work, cabinetry, uh, custom furniture, and then I do my, my Helsing line too. Can you elaborate on your Helsing line a little bit for, for everybody? Yeah. Uh, Helsing is crazy. Um, it's sort of just been like my, my little brainchild, my own little baby that I work on in my own time. And uh, it's, it's got a lot of sort of dark but whimsical inspirations. And it's been really cool. It's challenged me as a carpenter to learn really crazy types of joinery. And, and uh, also from the design aspect, it's, it's been a huge learning experience, which I, I've loved the most about it. And I think that's so important as a carpenter to, yeah. to constantly challenge yourself mm -hmm. so you don't get stuck in a rut. Right. Yeah, because you can wind up doing the same couple joints, same styles um, for years and you kind of get stuck. And, and uh, it's been fun to always have that challenge and, and even learning other mediums like upholstery and finish mm -hmm. work too. It's, it's been a blast. Uh, so Johnny, you were telling me earlier that kind of how you got your start with carpentry, it all started with a girl. Can you, can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, I was, uh, I was working in a coffee shop, um, making minimum wage and tips, and uh, that's where I met my wife. And I, I was like, dang, I'm gonna marry this girl. <laughs> so uh, I, I just got a construction job because it paid more. Mm -hmm. And about a couple months in, um, I, I had that like, that moment where you, I was like, oh man, I'm gonna be doing this for forever. Like I, I fell in love with it completely. Um, and, and that led, that was like simple trim work construction. And then over the years you get to learn more of the detail stuff. And that led to, to cabinetry and furniture and, and doing custom commission jobs. That's super cool. And I'm yeah. sure she loves the fact that you're handy and can <laughs> yeah. do some projects at the house. Yeah, like just, uh, just this last week, I was gonna have a few weeks in the shop and I was kind of planning for it. And uh, I was like, hey, she hates our coffee table that we have now. I was like, hey, pick something out from Pinterest and I'll make it. And as the words left my mouth, I was like, oh. oh no, <laughs> yeah, that's the story of my life. Like gave her free reign on it. Yeah. Um, but I'm lucky she, she likes the shabby chic sort of rustic mm -hmm. stuff. So she picked out a cool coffee table that, that's not gonna take me 40 hours to yeah. build. So uh, let's dive back into your, uh, your Helsing line of furniture. How would you yeah. best describe it? Um, I would say it's, it's got its roots, its feet, and some really old traditional styles of furniture, like the Baroque and the Rococo styles. Mm -hmm. um, some of the very simple shapes, like with the, the cabriole legs and uh, some of the curves that you see on like the valances and stuff. Okay. Um, I always really liked that style and then sort of my own dark, like alternative Tim Burton-y whimsical kind of stuff. I, it all sort of just mixed together in my head and came out in sketches and stuff that I did. So yeah, like traditional with a with an edgy twist on it, okay. I guess. Um, so you mentioned some of your sketches earlier. Do you have your, your notebook with you? Yeah, I did. I brought it down from, uh, from home. Um, my brother actually got this for me for Christmas. That's super for cool. For the purpose, he like knows that I like to sketch. Mm -hmm. He's like, dude, you could dedicate this whole thing to your furniture line. So uh, that's what I did. But I've got like, that's the very first, very start of it, like really simple cabinet drawings. Um, and then it, it gets a little crazy and a little troubling <laughs> as it goes on, some, some nutso stuff. That's uh, really cool. Some of it's just like emotional, like just concept feely stuff. I'm trying to find one of the, like that one. That's just like, that's just craziness. Um, but I'll, I'll, you know, you'll get into moods listening to albums and, sure. and stuff and you kind of just sketch whatever comes to your mind and draw a monster. And uh, like, I just like the shape of his horn so that yeah. it kind of works its way into Helsing. And, well, and that's what's yeah. so neat about it is <laughs> is the creativity that you have with your furniture line is it's it's different than anything I've ever seen before. Yeah, yeah, it's really fun um, to sort of just be able to have an idea 
in your head, put it down on paper, and then see it all the way through to a piece yeah. of, it's it's so rewarding. Well, you're thinking outside it. the box, and it's like, well, how many different ways can I build a chair or a right. couch kind of a yeah. thing? And, and you're starting from the bottom up with the mm -hmm. legs and making the legs different. And, yeah. you know, the shape of the back is different. And you're doing something that I've never seen before, and it's yeah. really cool. Sometimes it, it's kind of living, and it changes as it goes. It'll, uh, it'll be on the assembly table, and I'll, I'll think it looks good on paper, but as I'm building it, I'm like, ah, I don't like how that looks. And, I'll, and the, the piece can totally change in, in an afternoon when I have a different idea. So I really like that. And it sounds, oh gosh, sounds really cliche to say like, it's living and it's always changing, <laughs> but, but it kind of is. Like it, it's always sort of evolving throughout sure. the building process, yeah. So Johnny, you're obviously a professional carpenter. Mm -hmm. um, you beat the absolute crud out of your tools. So why did you start using Rigid and what continues to make you decide Rigid when you go into a store and you need a new tool uh, to pick that one off the shelf versus some of the other brands? Yeah, um, at the beginning, like as a new contractor, I was using other brands. Um, and I, I, the first couple of Rigid tools I tried, yeah, it's just more power, more quality. Um, it's a reliable tool. And when you drop it off the off the second story of a stair loft and you go back down, and you're just picking it up like, please work, please work. There's that moment of yeah. panic. And with rigid, it's it, they they always work. You drop them and they always work. And if you ever give it a real one too, then there's the LSA behind it, and that's that's like a huge safety safety blanket to have as a contractor. Yeah. And um, the difference between you and and <laughs> someone who's maybe just working out of their shop all the time is. It's not just you that's you know around the tools. It's other guys that could right. you know, if you get up to go grab another board or um, you know you step away for lunch and you leave your drill on the ground. Someone could you know knock it over, drop a block on it. You right. know you never know what can happen to it. So it's nice having that that peace of mind. Yeah, and it, and your and your tools are your life in that business. So either you put a lot of you've got a lot of care behind them and mm -hmm. and and they mean a lot to you. And would you say you have a favorite tool? Um, I mean, the impact driver is awesome. I use that thing all the time for building staircases, mm -hmm. uh, installing cabinets. We do some pretty big kitchens, um, so that obviously that thing is vital. Like Absolutely. I have to have it. Um, do you have? We're gonna shift gears a little bit, kind of talk projects a little bit more. Do you have a favorite project? From a furniture standpoint, it would be the Helsing couch that I did, mm -hmm. um, the chaise lounge. If you want to get fancy, so fancy when you say it I like know. That, I know. Lounge. I feel like I need like a long cigarette and my pinky out when I say it. <laughs> um, no, I that was really fun because that was one of the pieces I almost didn't draw at all before I started it. I just had quarter inch plywood laid out and I kind of freehanded everything, so it was really organic with no plans from the beginning. And then um, I also got into uh, to upholstery that way. That mm -hmm. was like one of my first upholstery projects. And that's a whole different world. That's awesome. Um, are there any trends in carpentry that you're excited about? Mid-century modern trend is kind of cool. Um, that's coming through a lot. Uh, How would you describe mid-century modern? Well, it's, it's clean lines. Um, sometimes contrasting materials. Some of the newer trends are definitely contrasting materials. You'll have like a very, a lot of people call it space agey, but I don't know. Okay. Um, it's clean, straight lines. You'll have like a, a wood stained bottom with like a white flat top, like oh, a coffee yeah. table or something yeah, yeah, like yeah. that. Um, that. That trend's really cool and it requires a level of precision, which is crazy. Yeah. Like, and it's all hidden. It has to be joinery. Yeah. Like you can't have any exposed fasteners or anything. And, I, re I respect people who can do that really well. Do you have a favorite tattoo? Uh, that changes a lot. Um, I mean, I, most of them are like memories I have or like friendship tattoos. Mm -hmm. My most recent one, I got this Johnny Cash one. Um, says, love is a burning thing. Sort of zombie Johnny Cash, it's like a skeleton. Awesome. I, I love that one, I got it with a buddy and okay. it was a really great time. And that's not a bad spot to get a tattoo. It no. doesn't, doesn't really hurt too bad. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, thanks so much for joining us, Johnny. This was a lot of fun. Uh, make sure you guys go check out Johnny Rocker on his Instagram page, which is underscore Johnny Rocker. And make sure you check out his uh, Helsing furniture line. Until next time, that's Talk Shop.